They found them a few months ago hanging in the woods. <laughs> and there's nothing inside of you. <laughs> I believe he did it to himself. I'm sorry. <laughs> But you guys would have never made me see the woods at the back of my house. I had to look for it. So scared I just came out the window and I was like, I have to find it. I mean, hell, I didn't. I was the one that got all the flyers out. I was the one that was in contact with his old high school friends that wanted to be a part of a memorial service. So there's still nothing to been done for him. Nothing. No one tells me anything, and I kept fighting myself. I woke Joseph up like two hours before he had to be at work because I was scared to go in the kitchen. Because that was always the time you would always come out when I got my doctor's pepper at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I just kept finding myself talking to him and turning around and being like, So, actually, it's not on my birthday. My godfather told me, maybe it's not fear that you're having, maybe it's just anxiety. And the reason why you feel him so strongly is because he knows you have a problem letting go. And he said at 3 o'clock in the morning tonight, even if you answer for him, you talk to him. I really haven't done that one since because I never got to talk to Mike because I go home. There's a woman in my home now, in the living room, who has changed every single thing about the house where you can't even tell that I would. I couldn't even cook dinner. I cook every day. She told me that her cat would hurt, would slaughter my rat. She made it impossible for me to talk to my cat three like that morning. And everyone's too okay with everything that's going on. I still... So now I'm going through the fact that I cry over the man that I love and the man who called me family. And I came 30 years old and I carry a pink elephant with polka dots everywhere I go. But if not that, that might let us know. I never have an outside. And they always say that you like lose, you have to lose someone you get, you know, someone you think you lose, someone is born. You put in and then you receive. It took two years for me to realize that my birth of it could have just been a blessing in disguise because there was something out there to hurt me more. But when he left, my angel, the angel that I needed to go. This is the thing that we look at 
the worst in life. Sometimes I don't really bad at all. And it's really hard to deal with. Because I still don't understand why it is that I feel the way that I do. Or that I fear the things that I do. I told my daughter this year that I wouldn't be at her 12th birthday. Because it was at the right cavern. So hard. Because I didn't want to turn her birthday into a thing about me. Oh, you do have something today. I'll tell you that. You get to go see her today, right? Yeah, I'm going to see her. We're going to cook. She doesn't know that. Oh my gosh, we told her, okay, so she wanted Skyrim. Okay, first of all, she wanted an Xbox. She wanted, I'm not an Xbox girl. I'm like, okay, I thought you were my kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, she, all she can talk about is Skyrim. So we have a collector's edition Skyrim for her. But I told her that because it's so popular, the game couldn't find it anywhere. She's, she's so bummed about it. Um, told her I only had maybe one or two of the other games that she just looked up and saw and yeah right. mm -hmm. um, we love to cook I got her a Skyrim cookbook oh yeah so like that just came in the mail and so I was just like sorry um, I waited all the time just like I know but it was supposed to be for you um, for your grades last uh, because I gave you that um, book series we read together. We read a lot of the same books. Um, she's she's amazing. Um, she read those books in less than a week. She's like, I'm not. I couldn't put them down. And I'm not gonna give you your system while you read books, but it would not have. It would have. It would not have taken from the reading at all. So I kind of snuck a little bit of RPGs in there. Mom with RPGs. Oh yeah. So you get to okay. be a story. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. she's, she's got a lot of surprise coming today. And, um, yeah, like, I'm, I'm able to, I'm driving there, so that's pretty cool. Um, I, I've come very far in, since December. Okay. Some of when I was in jail. Um, I literally was like, this is, I'm not, this is, I might be sober. <laughs> But I know I got my license back. I have uh, actually been begging Steven to hire me for like two years. Okay. So, so he was like, no, because like you're gonna go for me like this great customer or two, and now you're not gonna do shit because no, you work here. work here. So now I pretty much work for a video game. <laughs> it's me, that's been my dream job for a very long I, time. You know, I get in these jobs, and, you know, I, I, I'm I've always been like an overachiever, no matter what it is. I can be sure what you should, and I will tell you everything about, there is to know about, and I don't do it with them. <laughs> but you get bored. It, I get very bored very easily. I will exceed a, a job in the four years, even though I'm like, mm -hmm. we have a bet, and I'm not going to be, he's, you're not going to be here in a year. You're going to bet. This is, so now... I have a store. Like, mm -hmm. I, I have, he's completely, he bought this um, because I put it in, uh, apparently I put it, that inspiration in his head that it is possible. You, we're only open four days a week. We pull it in sales. Um, out of 30 Google reviews, about almost 20 of them have my name in it. Um, thank you for calling Game Genie. They're like, what's up, Julia? So it's really cool. Um, my daughter, she's proud of me. Um, the first time that my best friend has been in the store, but he just drove over an hour to be here. You guys yeah. <laughs> drove from the same place. You guys drove over an hour to, to be here. It's that right there, just, I'm so proud of myself. I mean, um, and if it wasn't for Zelda on the hood, we would never met. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what, that car... I, when I first started driving it, I was just like, why are people staring at me? Completely didn't even realize I'm like, oh yeah. 
So now I am Steven since I'm the face of Game Junkies. Um, I do do corny videos all the time, I, you know, but I had already had a blog and I already wanted to do stuff and I, I write. And so now I am, I have people driving hours just to meet me. Hours just to meet, not even, we're going to buy something because we saw your video and we've been watching them for three months and I wanted to come see you, but then they get in there and they're like, whoa, mm -hmm. and yeah. So I never, if you would have told me this, even, just, I mean, just in December, you know, that this is going to be my life, I would have laughed at you and probably put money on it that I didn't have <laughs> because I was pretty sure that I like I wasn't gonna have to pay anything, you know? <laughs> no, like I'm I'm really proud of myself. And if not for these paint these things I thought were just all were just horrible, painful things. Um without those I couldn't no, the sex lessons that I'm living today. And just such a short amount of time, like, it was definitely a blessing in disguise to know life like that. Because whereas I'd already inspired so many people, I, I, was, I, I say I'm a somebody to the nobodies. Um, now I've lived it, and I'm able to be the one that can look someone in the eyes and be like, I understand, and really mean it. Um, I grew up in foster care, you know, like my, I remember my social worker saying to me, I don't understand, but don't sit here and tell me that I need to be back in a meeting that you have no idea why, you know, I left it, or why I feel the way I do. Um, Yeah, like it. I have been on both ends of the spectrum, and, and if it wasn't, I this is who I am. This is what I was meant for, was to be me, you know. And yeah, I'm an inspiration to myself. <laughs> there you go. Well, um, thank you again, Julia. Thank and you. Thank you, our cohorts, for listening today. We're with the lovely Julie at uh, Game Junkies and then also Game Genie. Yes. And that's her first name, second baby. After her first fantastic daughter she has. <laughs> and y'all have a wonderful day.